Well, after running the, uh, the cell about 150 miles on tap water, I took it all apart here. The bun has lye all over it still. Before, I took it all apart, cleaning it all off. Some of the plates are really nasty. You can actually see where I scuffed them with the wire brush when I was smoothing off the little holes I made. I don't know if it's good or actually bad to scuff them now. It looks like they're darker in the grooves, so that kind of, I guess, proves that uh, hydrogen's formed in the grooves, maybe, so it is better to sand them. Some of them are really bad, like I've been scrubbing on a few of them to get them clean, but I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Same thing for the gaskets. They all got this yellow line on them. Some of them I can't get out. Some of them I can. Um, so like I got pretty clean. The uh, the pipe thread goop that I use smears with water. That's why it's waterproof. So you have to get like some type of soap to get it off. Apparently I'm just smearing it everywhere when I move it around. But I'm going to clean it all up. I got some distilled water and grape juice. And I have a line in the house and I'll do a full 28% mixture and see how well it runs. The only problem so far is uh, when it's hooked up in the engine, it doesn't suck. Let's get a picture of this. It doesn't actually put a good vacuum on the uh, the reservoir at all, so I don't know how much hydrogen actually sucks when you're at low RPMs. Stuff like that. I mean, you think that's big enough, but at idle, there's nothing. At 1,500, there's almost nothing. You kind of feel it at 2,500. At 3,000, when it actually starts to pull, and this uh, doesn't get too hot. This is not collapsing like it did in the past. When I had hooked up to the PCV, it actually melted and sealed itself shut when it cooled off one night. That's yeah, all good. But so far, it looks like I'm only getting like two miles per gallon, but it's only running at like five to six amps. And almost no production, like maybe a quarter to half a liter a minute. Hopefully, when I clean all this off and I put the good live water in there, and it goes up to 25, 30 amps, it'll be good. We'll see.